That's John Choi, everybody. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com. We're at the LA Amp Show 2010, and I'm here with Andy Cherna. We're going to show you some gear from uh, Two Notes. How are you, sir? Great, thanks. What are we listening to and through? Tell us about this. Well, we have a, a hybrid system today. What we had that we didn't have last time is we have a new version of the Torpedo called the VM202, which is a little different than the 101 that we showed previously. We're running. And let me pause you for a second. The 101, we do have a, a video demo of that from the New York Amp Show, and you find that on our website if you'd like to hear that. But so we're talking about the 202 here on top. That's correct. So actually, both are hooked up. What we're using is we're using a diesel head, and we're running the speaker out into the 101. So that's loading the amplifier. So the amplifier is running without a speaker, but we're also taking the effect send, which is pre the power amp, into the 202. So the 202 does not contain the load box, but it does contain uh, emulation of power amp characteristics that we can um, specify in the programming. And then it is a dual processor, which allows us to either have two separate sources, like a guitar and a bass, or the guitar running through two separate cabinets with two different micings. And then on each one of those two sides, we can choose whether they blend into stereo or they're actually left and right. And we can have different microphones to place differently. We can move things around different cabinets as we like. The output of that goes into the metric halo inter interface, into Logic Audio, and then out through the studio monitors, the Atom S3X verticals and the subwoofer. So that's our playback system. This would emulate the kind of system you'd use in a recording studio. So you could use a 100 watt head in a recording studio and not bother your neighbors and not bother if you were recording a grand piano at the same time. You could record the guitar full blast and still mic your piano or mic an acoustic guitar or an upright bass. Um, obviously, anybody touring with in-ear monitors with uh, limited um, ability to run an amp full blast, um, this is a great solution as well if you had a, a situation where um, you know, the different players have to have constraints on, on the volumes. So you can, um, you know, if you had a offstage cabinets, this is much more convenient than offstage cabinets because you have your head on stage and you have your, um, your torpedo and you can set all the parameters and you're good to go. You can also do stuff like have a, a 112 for your clean sound and a 412 for your dirty sound and you like the sound of a Neumann uh, microphone on your clean sound and you want to use something like a ribbon mic. Yeah, and you can switch that and do stuff like that. So we're using Torpedo Remote, which is included with the unit and it's simply a virtual interface to edit the unit uh, without your fingers on the actual unit but it's uh, exactly the same parameters but gives us a much better way to visualize what we're doing. So we have the key uh, parameters. First of all we select our different speakers and we can scroll through the speakers. There's guitar cabinets and there's bass cabinets and there's all the typical ones that we like um, and we typically add a new cabinet every month and these cabinets are in both the 101 and the 202. So, John, you want to play? And then we can choose uh, microphones. And now we can move the microphone around either with axis. And then we have a parameter. Um, called Verify, which allows us to set the, um, the effect of having multiple microphones on the same cabinet. So if John, you play again. Okay, that characteristic of a speaker overloading. John, if you'd like to play just some chords. and this will sound good with an open back cabinet. recording so you could record the dry signal and then um, as you're uh, going to mix you could choose your mic settings by taking the the signal you recorded which is the uh, loaded amplifier um, 
into the into your recorder, whether it be Pro Tools or whatever, and then take the output of that, go back into the torpedo, and now decide, okay, in relation to all the tracks we've already recorded with the producer, with the artist, with the singer, as, as you like, choose now we're going to use a 412, and now we're going to mic it this way and make the tracks fit. And the other thing you can do is now you can start reamping and layering tracks and building up uh, a wall of sound using the single track you did. Um, and this gives you uh, the ability to um, really create a massive wall of sound and um, instead of using EQ or compression as your tools of, of, of flavoring your sound, you're using cabinets, which is a much more direct and, and, and organic way to um, create mixes that are alive. All right, Andy, if people want to find out more, where can they go online? They should go to uh, twonotes.com, T-W-O hyphen N-O-T-S dot com, and that's the site for the, uh, um, the manufacturer in France, and they all have on the site, they have the manuals, they've got all the updates, they've got uh, a user forum, they've got uh, demo files using different styles of music, different applications, there's even people doing vocals through it, and it really gives a good tour of the unit. Um, we also have uh, some YouTube videos done from studios, done from different guitar players, uh, and that gives you a really good taste of what the unit can do, and and, and um, happy to email me or contact me through our website, The Future audiocom or through two notes and um, answer any questions and then we can arrange for them to have a unit for uh, for evaluation as well fantastic thanks a lot man I'm Joe Coffee. you're watching premierguitar.com yeah!